if it hadn't been so before. For the first time this season, Kingston College will put their Manning Cup title on the line because this game is now everything. Last year they were hungry as they sought a crown after over three decades of wait. This year it's all about pride. And if you know anything about Fortis and all their generational representation, pride is worth so much more. For Camperdown, this is both hunger and pride, hungered by the fact they are still waiting on this prize which has eluded them since 1982. Pride because of the fact Casey went through them to get that title last year in a similar quarterfinal dilemma. And having been denied, they now seek to deny. Where we are watching all over the world, thank you so much for joining our coverage here on the Home of Champions. My name is Donald Oliver. With me is Dwight Jeremiah. And Donald, I hear you talking about all the new care tests that went on many, many moons ago. I'm not going to be surprised if this place explodes. Our first game here, what it means when it comes down to decision day, and they will have to make some right decision. The team that made the right decision will get ahead today. Well, the Capitol will be in charge of today's game as we take a look at the Kingston College starting lineup. David Martin is in goal. In front of him, Rajiv Gavin, Calvin Gardner, Sajar Blair, and Lewis Watson in the middle of the park. Demario McCarthy, Jamari Morrison, and Scott McLeod. And the, the, top, the top three, Ronaldo Robinson, Dwayne Atkinson, and Tyrese Williams. They're coached, of course, by Ludwig Bernard. There he is, looking composed for the time being. And Campanon looking to wipe that smile off his face. Deshaun White will start for them in goal. The captain is back at the back, Giovanni Leng beside Capo Washington, Roger Dawkins and Romain Clark. In the middle of the park, Connie Washington, Rashid Grant and Sean Daly up top three as well. Ronaldo Edwards beside Shaquille Bradford and Tibel Edwards. And of course, they are coached by Christopher Bender. Who would of course been around as a player the last time at Camperdown won the Manning Cup. And he'd want to replicate that success now as the head coach. Kingston College, the meeting of the minds before the kickoff. As preparations, the final touch is being made ahead of this encounter, which by all accounts, by the narrative, by the previews, it should be epic. Epic indeed, Donald. Uh, Jamaica College in their last game in the Manning Cup out in here. They dropped points for the first time against Wilmers. They don't want to drop any points today and for sure to make the destiny in their own hands. And do you feel, based on the tables, that they were to get a point today, then they're through. Well, we're off here at the Stadium East Field with the camper now kicking towards the Blue Mountain Range. And the Kingston College in their full purple taking towards downtown Kingston and the Caribbean Sea. Sean Daly with his first touch. Tony Washington trying to find Rashid Grant. Grant actually turned 19 yesterday, the number 19 for Camperdown. Kingston College is striving forward now. And there's a whistle on the play. Audit Hamilton saw an infringement there. And she has a warning. Kingston College a free kick in a dangerous spot. And you're ready to pace up this one. He's as high as ever. Starting out, coming out of the blocks very quickly. Kingston College. With Jay Dawkins coming across, and it's a slight stamp there applied. Lewis Watson is there. Jamar Morrison may also take it. But I give a Watson to strike it from here. Let's see who will take it. It is Lewis Watson who found the wall. And Campanon doing its job for the time being. That one struck straight into the wall. Not much dying on that one. Nice turn from Atkinson, sends it upfield, 
Williams, Tyrese Williams got inside, shoot! Oh, what a save! That's a fabulous stop by Deshaun White! Because that was going in the far corner! That's definitely destined for the far corner. And he had to give everything, every inch of his body stretched out there. Corner kick taken. We don't even have time for replays. This is all the live action you need. Kingston College will try to charge again. They send it out wide. It's too long though. It's a throw in to Camper Down. Camper Down want to go through today, I'm sure. Pretty sure they will remember that moment. Stats. Top class. Goalkeeping save here from White. Atkinson. First time I thought. White is there again. Maybe, just maybe that was drifting White. But White was taking no chance. Casey with a point of kick. Taken quickly at their post. Atkinson. They're screaming for handball. Odette Hamilton doesn't respond. Boy, has White responded for Camperdown so far in this start. Barely three minutes on the clock. And they could have found themselves two goals down had it not been for White and goal. Wow. So much has happened in the first three minutes. Kingston College trying to dictate the play, the pace of this one in the opening stanza. Capital may get a chance to come out of their half here and throw the ball back into the Kingston College half because they have been under the siege for the opening whistle. Kingston College has started like a team on fire. We talk about those explosions, those nuclear, nuclear explosions, Donald. They have certainly exploded here. Tyrese Williams couldn't keep that one in play. We've seen over the past few days, match days, Williams has been a little bit inaccurate in front of goal. But uh, he was accurate with that first effort. Only to be denied by a, an absolutely fabulous save from Deshaun White. Campanon trying to go forward through Daly. Daly trying to wiggle away from McLeod. Grant stops it forward. There was a late kick there, was it? Campanon still in possession, only momentarily. Get it back through Grant. Ronaldo Edwards. Romain Clark. Grant. Couldn't do a lot with that. Tackle Washington gathers. Decides to go long. Too far in front of Tibet Edwards, picked up by Bradford. Not sure exactly what Bradford is trying from there. Sean Daly. Grant. Trying to get Bradford in the mix. It was accurate. Long ball of field. And uh, Kaku Washington back there doing a job. Clark trying to beat Lewis Watson, who stood strong. Watson is now looking for the options. Almost trying to get by, well, he was trying to get by a couple of defenders and they got the free kick instead. It's pretty much all Kingston College so far. Anything meaningful in this game has certainly come from the purpose. Jamar Morrison behind this one. There's a three man wall that's been set up. Morrison. That's not a bad delivery inside. Atkinson again winning the header. It must have been the smallest player inside the box. Won the header, took a deflection, and it went out for a corner kick to KC. Smallest but had the spring in his step. We know he does have that Atkinson and he rose his eyes to get ahead on that one. I don't know, just want to weather this early storm. Storm as long as Kingston College does not score here. I don't feel it was settled. Here's a delivery at the near post looking for Atkinson. It went to the penalty spot and Camperdown they were able to clear. Gardner back there for KC. No, 
Johnson winning the second goal for the moment, Kingston College. Morrison sends it long to the edge of the box. Washington was there. It's going on a run, Gardner. Daly slips it through. Bernardo Edwards. Tibble Edwards is inside the box. Daly. Sean Daly. And David Martin gets into the thick of things now. Definitely, and that's the first real move of purpose from Camperdown. And you wouldn't expect this game to proceed without them really having their say because they're a quality team, Camperdown. And you have to give the players credit. They've really contributed well to this decision. They, they've really, really put on a show. The first game we saw it and here, good quality, good enthusiasm high tempo so often you've seen the big games being built up and don't live up to expectation well so far this one is living up to and also in the stands you get the Campanon supporters also looking to match the Kingston College's supporters in terms of out cheering them Jamari Morrison sees the keeper off his line and went for the improbable. So the keeper banging on the crossbar, showing his athleticism. And he did have to do that early in the game, twice, to show his flexibility and agility in keeping this game as it is in the middle between Campanon and Kingston College. Well, finally the players get a breather. After that frenetic start. Don't expect it to stay this way for too long, Lana. It's just too much on the line. To such our player. Casey with a throw in. Two Ronaldo's on the park wearing the number 11. Ronaldo Robinson of KC. And Ronaldo Edwards of Camperdown. Which is the local equivalent. Is it that one of them will have? The final scene this way. The rain returns on the stadium east field. Morrison finding Watson. Couldn't skip by his defender there. Flip that one through. The ball went out of play. It's just been a lot of work here. Camper down to early in the game to have kept the scoreline as it is. We feel they've weathered the storm. And with all the rain returning, I don't think with this game, the way it has been, we're going to see much movement with the spectators. Oh no. They're going to stay in the rain, they're going to watch this encounter. Watson with the throw. And, uh, well, it's Hamilton. Seeing an infringement on the play. And McLeod couldn't believe the call. But it's going to be a free kick to Camper Down. Sean Taylor is going to need some attention, possibly from the bench. I think he's going to, he's bleeding as well, so they're going to have to stop the bleeding to, to allow him to resume his participation in this epic encounter. Pretty sure this rain will not dampen what we've seen so far 
from these players. Sandy Parson. Ball punted long to the edge of the box, looking for Tibbet Edwards who gets a boot in. Speaking of a boot in, Blair having to make that clearance and injured himself in the process. Now he requires some attention, Sajar Blair. I think he's going to resume his England is in the house. involvement before Sean Daly returns for Camperdown. Judging from what we've seen, what we saw in the first group for the first games being played, I wouldn't dare put my head out there to suggest who will make the semi-finals from this group. Ball sent to the edge of the box and it's cleared out by Kingston College up towards that halfway line. Tyrese Williams trying to get a touch on it, went over his head. McLeod winning the header. Atkinson applying the pressure, almost won. His teammate has it though. Thinking of the shot, a late challenge coming in on Ronaldo Robinson. It's a free kick to Kingston College. Still being patched up. Sean Daly. Miller so far. We can't wait to continue. And much like the first game, do you do? You do get the punctuation of the game with stoppages. Free kick to Kingston College. Lewis Watts like get is behind this one. Four man wall set up. And this one is drilled wide. He really has a kick about him. You get the feeling that that was on target. White would have been scrambling across. Let's have a look at it here. You know, it's always going away. I think he had that one covered. Lewis Watson being applauded by his captain there for the effort. The good news coming in. And you have Wilmers leading their game. A go to him. Charlie Smith. Many people see that match as a foregone conclusion based on what has been happening before with Charlie Smith in this group. It's definitely so. Wilmers appeared to go through and may just stop this group. along the channel. Williams. There wasn't a P for a handball there, nothing given. Atkinson now with it. He's lost the ball, Atkinson. The game started with a lot of long range shots and you expect that to continue or even pick up with the rain coming now. It'd be a little bit difficult for the goalkeepers to get a grip of this ball but also for the passes it's going to zip around on this greasy surface let's make for good passing as well technique has to be crisp yep. Morrison dinks it inside the box and the keeper calls for it and takes the catch this shot white looks to be pumped for the occasion. And having pulled those two saves off, his confidence would have gone through the roof. And the skies will have it here. Well, at least the place is cooler with the rain. Yeah. He did say it would get hot, but I guess 
It's going to remain hot on the field. But it had to be contained one way or the other. It's interesting, last season, these two were the oldest institutions with the longest drought in the history of the Manning Cup. Then Kingston College pretty much said goodbye to Camperdown, got caught up in the rapture and left them in the wilderness. He Casey, can. of course, winning that Manning Cup crown for the first time in 32 years. I feel Camperdown would also feel like they'd want to end theirs this season, but ahead of them are some good teams. At least of them stats. Of course, last year in the process of uh, doing that, KC, they defeated the boys from Camp in a similar scenario to what we are seeing right now. Last year, Camp Pedon, they needed a draw to make it to the semis. KC needed that win, a win which they got 2 0 at the Spanish Town Prison Over. Suggesting that a team that needs to draw this season may just lose. I'm just presenting the facts from last season. Of course, this season, Casey needs that draw. And it's Camperdown who needs the win in order to progress to the semi finals of the Manning Cup. They're seeking to go back to the top four for the first time since 2014. They have to do some defending now, though, Camperdown. Jamar Morrison has it. Lofts it to Dwayne Atkinson. Romain Clark was there. Watson should get there. Goes by Edwards easily. Sends the ball across. Couldn't quite take it in his stride, Tyrese Williams. Now the ball over the top looking for Tabelle Edwards and it goes through to be taken by David Martin. The new Kingston College knew this was yeah. going to be a tough encounter on the weekend. We saw them making all five changes and their infamous front three was left out of that Champions Cup game against Foam. Today they're all out there. Morrison does well and uh, couldn't quite get the power he needed to get it by Deshaun White as he collected that one in his stride. Sean Davis is back on the park, all patched up. Kempera did well doing Oh, nice ball inside. Chance for KC. Couldn't quite thread it through on that occasion. Ronaldo Robinson does well defensively, though. Yes, yeah, so that's that's what you want as a coach on the sideline, giving senior players, giving it their all. That's an attacking player putting in a, a good challenge there to prevent the team from going forward. Come for down. Bradford. Sean Daly. Ronaldo Edwards. Edwards. Looking for Bradford again. Tyrese Williams. Let's take a look at the Manning Cup Group G as it stands. Almost ahead. Casey in second spot at the moment. Camper down in third. And of course, Charles Smith at the bottom. Almost like like leading at the moment. Like we saw in the, the first group. I played out here. A 
much time that will change before the 90 minutes are ended today. Incredible that three teams ended on two points. Yeah, that was really good. So, finish behind sent back to technical. Uh, no one would have thought the beginning. So we have a look here. And uh, it was late there, McLeod. And uh, Daly again being roughed up. Now Daly sends this one inside the box. There's nobody there from Camperdown. Bradford collecting. Shaquille Bradford fouled by Ronaldo Robinson. As you're saying, Donald, this no one would have fathomed that two points would have been sufficient to take you through to the semi-finals from a quarter-final goal. And a minus goal difference as well. You need not have a goal in the goal difference column. It was negative. This is it's just crazy. Three teams ended on two points. None of them had a goal in terms of the goal difference. It was in the negative. Free kick for Camper Down. And uh, that was the best clearance, was it, from your skipper, Rajiv Gavin? Atkinson. Well, he gets away from trouble. Has an entourage to the boot. And there it goes, extending even more. What a fabulous ball that is! The keeper is off his line! Does fantastically well! Again, has come up. Trumps for Camperdown. Really reacted well. Was off his line in a flash. Before the striker, as he looked up, all he saw was this bright green. Robinson. He maybe should not have gone for the shot. Ball running away from him. He should have tried to go around the goalkeeper. Try and get a tour around him, not to try and pull the shot off. Just shift that one left or right, more so right. Got the feeling that he would have had an empty goal to aim at. Exactly. They are remonstrating, Coach Bernard, just probably saying the same thing. Yeah. Didn't need to go for the shot at that time. But I think because his head was down the minute he looked up, he saw a bright green colour in front of him. He saw the charge <laughs> and wanted to get rid of the ball as soon as he possibly could have. Exactly, so credit goalkeeper White. Again, this is the third time in this opening 25 minutes that he has kept Campanone in this. Will Jamaica College move? See who the opportunities because the others were good strikes on goal. Keeper here, will they find a way past him? That will be the question. Well, Capitol's number two is warming up just in case. And I'm pretty sure they don't, they will not want to see him out there. Coach Bender. Definitely see him asking there. Still want to get word, not getting anything definitive. Not sure what he wants to hear is good news. There's no way Deshaun White is coming off. The Bender is asking, he's gesticulating whether or not a change is required. As the goalkeeper, I think he has more time than an outfield player to try and get himself ready. I mean, he's just been hit. I mean, so it hurts. It hurts very much. But one thing, but I think he wants to walk it off. He wants to, and I think what Bender is is a bit anxious here to hear. At the same time, because of what he has seen from Kingston College, he wants to know because he wants a very fit and agile keeper in his goal. He has shown all those attributes so far, White. Really done. I think Campanone would be pleased with that restart from Jamaica College giving the ball back. They really put that one in the direction of Tyrese Williams. I think that was really a, a give back. Well, I 
Hello, Bing Ling. Help the situation too much. Brother, I say, how we move it? Throw it. I say, how we move it for? Long throw taken. Looking for McLeod. But there is Washington. That's Kathu Washington. The no yeah, McLeod rocked him and wins the free kick, the corner kick rather, for a school. Oh, judging from what we saw in the first game between Jamaica College. Oh, this free is already. I want to run something. But the transition by Camper down, they were steering down a, a penetrating run from Atkinson. And once they won it, the transition to attack was blistering. Well, it's sending some pain, but that goal made. Sorry, the thing mysteriously cut off and jump for own score now. I just mentioned it, Donald, that as we saw in the first game, the JC got a lot of the chances, did Jamaica College, but each time stats went forward at, at halftime, the, the stats read for them was three attempts at goal, two on target and two goals. So again, we're seeing something similar playing out where Jamaica College got some chances, camping down on their first purposeful attack. Go ahead. I may be corrected by my producer, but I think this is the first goal that Kingston College they have conceded in open play all season. Well, they have not conceded a lot. And then across all competition, it was counting as four, so it may not be too far off, Donald, if not right. Either free kicks or some set piece. That's what they conceded. White calls for it. And even then, the goal that they considered this afternoon, it was a, a mistake that really shouldn't have happened. So, they all set pieces. First time they have conceded in open play and camper down the team with the bragging rights. Whenever I said the goal, you know, the, stream, the stream mysteriously cut off. And the, the Facebook stream, the Facebook it mysteriously could, um, just went off, and the stream that we may watch it freeze up. <laughs> so we restarted, and then we realized that them score. So all I will miss it. Should get to the semi-finals. goals on the season for Bradford, but I'm pretty sure that assists from him the rank highly amongst those goals. Now the Camperdown fans, they never disappoint. Never disappoint. They bring the party everywhere they go. Tyrus Williams gets up and takes that one quickly. Sees the keeper off his line and tries to dink him. I suppose it was a good idea, but it was the execution that was faulty. Yes, yes, yes. So you, you normally see the right intention, poor quality. Probably trying to make up for his earlier mistake. True. Just playing back for has been so massive for Camperdon. He's teetering on double figures for both goals and assists this season. That was his ninth of the season in terms of assists. Yeah, along with his 20 goals, as you said. Ball played through. Williams gets by the keeper. Oh, that's a penalty, surely. It is. Deshaun White was late to come off his line. Yeah, yeah, and brought down Tyrese Williams. And it's a chance for Kingston College to get the equalizer. Giovanni Leng seem labored in getting there. He just. Well, that take is, your pick. Who brought him down? If he was brought down, let's have a look. Good here. This is a good. 
It would have been leg. If, if that's an outstretched leg, it would have been legs. But did he really touch him? That was inconclusive there. It might have caused him to go over. Well, that is clinics now because one penalty has been missed from that end today in the first game and we whites heroic anything is possible here. Ronaldo Robinson is the one who's spotting this one for Kingston College. He's aiming to score his for Kingston College. Robinson steps up, shoots, oh, he saved it! This one wide the hero against the dummy there fake to go to his right and Rod being just pranked from that left and he had to get up so quickly after making the save carried it onto the post fortunate that his best friend came in the way there the left hand upright oh, and then he got up quickly <laughs> to recover and hold on how oh, often you see those go into the net a good bounce there Maybe there's a Wuju at that goal. We saw also a free kick of Jamaica College. Goalkeeper was rooted to the spot in the first game, hitting the woodwork. Well, he's not getting up. <laughs> That's a mixture of happiness, and you can see the grimace, and you can see the pain. You can have one, one, some of those moments mixed as one. Most definitely. You know, it's your moment, it's your time. I mean, in pain, but you can't hold back the joy that you feel inside. And Coach Bernard there must be wondering, is it not going to be his day today? Wilmers, they're now leading Charlie Smith by two goals to nil. Rivaldo Mitchell with the second goal. So this is now a straight fight between KC and Camperdown, you think? You think, you think. And it's, it's, it's a fight, for sure. Still only one goal in it, but... My through it's camper down who needs a win to make it to the semis of the Manning Cup so at the moment KC they just need one goal they had an opportunity just now they missed the penalty nice take <laughs> Tim and Edwards was hoping that you would have gotten away with it I saw a hurried clearance there from the canton on the number five, Romain Clark, and it's a long way to go in this one. He's going to have to keep his composure. Yeah, that, that and again, Clark, not sure the type of composure. Wait a second. Kingston College may want to attack his side of the park here. Oh, he is late. He is very late and he'll get the card too, Roger Dawkins. Running away from the scene of the yeah. this crime, but... Uh, McCarthy has confirmed that Dawkins has gone into the referee's book. Wilmer's now leading Charles Smith by three goals to nil. Ronaldo Webster now on the score sheet, so they're cashing in. Lewis Watson 
delivers. Who that was face dead. And Robinson, it's not his day today at all. You're talking about cashing in, he couldn't cash in there. I felt it came at him very quickly, hadn't settled himself. And it was right at him, just arrived in the box, and it was fizzed in. I think he just hopefully stretched out a leg or a boot deer. One thing about Lewis Watson, he delivers. And that one did with some redirection because yeah. it had a lot of pace on it. Matthew's leg is 100% this afternoon. He looks a little bit slower than usual. And he really laboured for getting back to try and clear the ball that ended up in a, in a penalty being awarded to Kingston College. Really wasn't covering the ground quite quickly as he should. They're really making this into a real atmosphere here. Camper down there would love a second goal. Do you get the feeling they need that breathing space, Camper down? Maybe that will help to settle the lights of the moon. We swung to this side of the field. Edwards, Clark, a oh, nice turn. Cunny Washington. And that wasn't the best first touch, was it? From uh, Ronald Edwards. Rajiv Gavin. Such a player sends it long. Tyrus Williams collecting deep. See the yellow card taken out. Is going to be shown to Tyrese Williams. That's how the road in the wrong was never going to prevent him from getting that card, and that's, that's a dangerous tackle there. Both feet leave at the ground. We've seen players' heads being broken in that way. They were pushed all the way on the weekend in the Champions Cup. And for all this cold in the time I did on. So I'm going to, to be pushed all the way today again. Williams given chase. Two players rushing inside the box for Kingston College. Couldn't get by Lane. McCarthy. Williams has Atkinson's company and again indiscretion from Williams and it's a free kick to camper down deep in their own half. About 90 seconds to go in this first half as we take a look at the group G as it stands Bulmers with their 3 0 lead over Charles Smith on top with seven points camper down with their one 0 lead over Kingston College in the second spot with six points. And of course, those two will go through to the semis of the Manning Cup. If it remains the same, we'll have new champions in the Manning Cup. I reckon when we look at that table there, we can see where first and last and fourth is a fourth one conclusion. You just have to keep your eyes on second and third. Chance oh. over the top. Had a little space to work with. He really struck that one well too. Got a hold of that one. 
Just gonna keep his effort down, Williams. Just 15, you know. So he's gonna be around in the Manor Cup for a few years. And he can only get better. I he like him as a striker. He looks the part. And no invitation required for shooting. Sure, I'd love to have a player like him in my team. He does not need an invitation to shoot at goal. 15. Mm. Eight, four years in it. Possibly. Of course, Dr. Bernardo was singing his praises a couple of matches ago, saying that. He has the strongest kick in his squad, Tyrese Williams. We've seen a few of it today, and I'm pretty sure White will attest to the fact that it has Venom behind it. A lot of stoppages in this first half. So we're playing five minutes worth of stoppage time. Camp it on, can they double their advantage? Held on to the ball. A little bit too long there, Ronaldo Edwards. Lewis Watson making his way through, winning the free kick for his team. This could be interesting for Kingston College. They couldn't convert from 12 yards. Let's see what they can do from 25. Dwayne Atkinson is behind this. His captain is also there to Mario Morrison. The ball is being set up by Deshaun White. He's being meticulous with his instructions. It is Atkinson, and White spilled it. Goes behind for a corner kick. I think it was probably going wide, though. Look, we'll have another look at it, but in terms of the ball, it didn't do its job. The ball just opened up. For the first time we see White there not handling well, but it's a contribution caused by the rain. This is the second corner for Kinston College. I don't need to register one. Being spoken to by referee. Here's the corner kick. That's not a bad looking one. It's headed away. And the shot from McCarthy is high. And he wasn't really sitting up for McCarthy there. Tried to get his body over it, but the match was just too high. Such so couldn't keep it down. Ronaldo Robinson does well. Robinson, well, that wasn't the best cross inside the box, and Lem was able to bang it out of the area. Smith Robinson to keep driving forward. You get the feeling he's going to want yeah, to him for his missed chance from 12 yards. Gardner. Blair, he's onside. Atkinson trying to chip the keeper, oh. and it's headed behind by Kafu Washington. Well, there needs to have been more conviction from Dwayne Atkinson there. He played that one as if he thought he was offside, and you know that's yeah, the reaction you get from a player. It's like a point, sure. it's a thing. Here's a corner kick for Kingston College at the back post. It's a captain who heads it down, oh. and it's buried in! Oh. there. And what Robin 
Atkinson couldn't do from 12. Atkinson does from 6. That's a good goal. And I did say we keep a close eye on the second and third spot in that table. It has pretty much changed again. Fortis Prime. Yeah. Seems as if we are going to be level at the break. Certainly not yielding here at Jamaica and Kingston College. And we are going to be level at the break. Left it late in the 45th minute, Kingston College with the equalizer. Dwayne Atkinson coming up short to his 18th goal for KFC. This after Sean Daly, the number 22 for Camperdown, did enough to score. His seventh this season, giving Camperdown the lead. There was a missed penalty in here. Ronaldo Robinson couldn't convert from 12 yards. But Casey's still in it. Still in it. Needing just the draw to make it to the semis. Camperdown, they must win. And at the halftime interval, the boys will talk it over. And we're locked here at the Stadium East Field. 1-1. speaking with Siobhan Byfield, the manager at Camperdown High School. Siobhan, that late equalizer by Kingston College must have dampened your spirits a little bit. Camperdown spirit will never damp. Uh, we will rise, we will always rise and come again. It's the second half, we're known for our second half performance. If we are watching throughout the season, we will know that we come back stronger. Uh, a bit, bit sloppy in the defense, but we'll get it together. But I'm sure a while ago that was on our side. Sure, positive. Is that why you're so perturbed? Yeah, that's why I'm so upset right now, but I can't trust that in the team, so we have to come stronger and know that the red and blue will know and forever be strong. Thank you. Chavon Byfield there of Camperdown High School saying that they will rise in the second half. There's no representative from Kingston College. I assume they really want to get into that changing room and get the halftime talk going. Yeah. We're going to take a break. When we return, we have first half highlights and Stumping statistics. And, and of course, I'll be in the stands even though it's <laughs> raining here at Stadium East. National Stadium East Field for this quarterfinal round encounter between Kingston College and Camperdown High. It's 1-1 at the halftime interval. If the scoreline remains the same, the champions will go through to the semis of the Manning Cup. Let's take a look at the Water halftime highlights. And there are quite a few, and it started as early as minute one. Kingston College knocking on the door hard. Tyrese Williams, look at this shot. Into the far corner. No! This shot white with a left-handed stop. And managed to Get a hand on it before it could go in. But that was a very good shot from Tyrus shot. Williams as he tried to get goal number 10 this season. The third minute, Casey will try again. Atkinson's effort. And uh, White taking no chance. It was going in. Fabulous strike from their number 13. And White coming up big again. And it would not be for the last time. Although, well, that was another good save outside the box as the ball was played through to Ronaldo Robinson, who was denied by White. Camperdown, this was their first real opportunity, and they did take it. Sean Daly in the 30th minute, scoring his seventh this season. Good work by Bradford with the assist. And Daly with a neat finish. Sending Camperdown ahead in this contest. Nicely done. In the 30th, 5th minute, penalty given. Williams was brought down. Take your pick. Was it Leng? Was it White? 
Robinson with the equalizer. No, denied by White, who carried it onto the post. And he had to move quickly there together. And second attempt, and Robinson again denied by Deshaun White, who was having a really good day for Camp for Camper down in goal. And he was pumped. Then the chance. The captain headed across, and Atkinson with a very good finish. Really it was. Reggie Gavin, though, with the assist. Which part's not and on the volley, Dwayne Atkinson turned it in to make it his 18th goal of the season. And 1 1, the champions back in this encounter. That's what, that's what, halftime highlights. Let's take a look at the statistics so far. With Kingston College, 13 shots, 5 on target. Campanon with 3 shots, 2 on target. A very oh. physical game so far. KC. With 10 fouls, camping on with 8. One yet a card apiece. 48% uh, possession for camping on. 52, the majority, with Kingston College. It is now time for a water break from the stands. Right. Here's your water break. Right. In the stands, there. See you in the second half. from coming out here and celebrating and supporting their team this afternoon. It is one all at halftime. How can Camperdown get back into this? Well, we have Altiman Garden and a player we call Rockers that will come and do it for us. We're looking for a 3-1. They anticipate with the showers coming heavier. They don't want him to slip in there, so immediately get the studs on to make him more sure in his footing. Or it could be a bit of time management. Well, I reckon it is it is to ensure we see a, we saw a few slippage about the, the field before. Wouldn't be surprised if we see other players following suit as the game goes on, if the rain continues. Because that design doesn't allow the mud to fill up the spaces because it's much wider. So they stay and it creeps into the ground much better because they're longer. So, so normally your goalkeepers and your defenders a few occasions I've had this season where I've had to even have my striker change his upper to air because I just could not get a grip not to get his shots off because you really need to be firm with your standing leg when you do take a strike and some more players looking to Adjust their footwear. Kingston College trying to press. Ball played inside the box at the back oh. post. Had to stretch for it and he places it to the side netting. It's a quick break from Kingston College there. Yeah, second half. So could have resulted in a second goal for them. Williams sending that one across. Good teasing ball across the box. Morrison just couldn't get to the end of it. It will zip across the surface much quicker. Here's one out of Edwards and his effort is wide of the mark. The adjustments won't have to have only be made with the uh, footwear in terms of their weight of pass over this slippery, greasy surface. Gonna have, it's going to zip through. So Sean did with a heavier bandage just to stop the bleeding. Kingston College is saying the best form of defense is attack. They are okay with this point, but they are 
continuing their assault on Campadon. Well, it's still in play. Well, that's not the best clearance at all, but Ronaldo Edwards couldn't really capitalize. And here comes Kingston College to Ronaldo Robinson. Lewis Watson, ball over the top. Oh, wow. Jamari Morrison, oh. wide of the mark. Oh. First touch was very crisp for Morrison. He just didn't have the finish to go with it. But beautiful take by him in this what condition there. Took it down sweetly. Just need a sweeter strike. Okay, Keeper White was very much interested in that one. It's really pouring down here at the Stadium East. Robinson. And it's a knock to his face. Shaquille Bradford. Free kick to Camperdown. Yeah. They're going to need Bradford to come up big for them today. Camperdown. But behind this free kick, I'm not sure if he's contemplating taking a shot from here. I wouldn't be surprised if he did in this condition. Bradford does go for goal and the keeper holding on. And was impeded by Leng in the process. Quite smart from Bradford to try it from here in this condition. Nothing wrong with that. Tyrese Williams on it. Dwayne Atkinson. Oh. Atkinson does well. Morrison is inside the box. He finds Morrison. Couldn't get a, a proper connection. Chance again. This time dinked inside and no follows there for Deshaun White. You can see some situation there where the Campanile defenders not able to keep their foot in. So they need to make some adjustment to their footwear if they still have that luxury. But we're saying play on. Edward sends it out wide to Bradford. Bradford slipping. And impeded. Slipping and the players losing their footing. Don't expect this surface to deteriorate badly in this condition. Good surface here. The delivery inside the keeper, staying on his line. Trap was in there as well for Camper Down. Washington sends it inside the box, and the keeper calls for it and gathers. Releases it immediately, looking for Tyrese Williams. And back there is Washington. We kick to Kingston College. Kingston got a knock there, but he has been alive wire for Kingston College since the start of this game. It was his giveaway that led to the Campadon goal.
free kick to Kingston College. Lewis Watson and Tyrese Williams. There's a Lewis McLeod will get the corner kick. Yep. Last touch came off half of Washington. the condition beginning to affect the overall quality and intensity of these players. Fourth point of kick for Kingston College. Delivery at the back post again. The captain tries to place that inside box. I don't think he was going for an effort on target, Rajiv Gavin. He seemed to be Something off the training ground where they try to hit most of those corners to the back post and just try and get it back inside of the mid zone. At which point you feel the defenders are in tune for that first kick. The second kick they may just, or that second ball into the box may just see them losing their, mar their, their, their marks. Atkinson skips by Clark. No harm done. Goalkeeper will need some attention again. Deshaun White. He has had his moments in this game. Some of them, some brilliant ones, so a few times he's been on the turf like that. Yeah, he was trying to make the clearance and then just lost his footing. And I suspect he landed awkwardly. Yeah. Now it's his ankle. Don't know if he's wearing one of those studs that give him a better grip, but surface has been pelted here. It appears so, but still was not sufficient to see him keeping his, his foot in. Well, these are the football faithful. Living this downpour here. It is a huge downpour. Well, I suppose if you're going on with better you're happy with the particular result. It will happen for one set of fans this evening. Sajar Blair was fouled. And it's a free kick to Kingston College. Condition here not really helping Campadon, not being able to put things together in terms of passes and Combination, please. That's an interesting one because it normally hits the referee, drop the ball to the team that hit it against him, but that hit against her was inadvertently done by the Kinson College team. So a rebound from an intended pass from Campadon. No break in sight with this rain. None at all. We don't expect a shot there of Coach Bernard. He's not going anywhere in this one. So two Ben now. Okay, 
coming out and take a blow from anywhere right now. But uh, they are going to be making a change. And Romaine Clark's time is up. And they're going to bring on that looks to be Kendi Deacon. It is Kendi Deacon who's coming on. It's an attacking change. They are going to go with three at the back, Camperdown. Let's see how it will go in these conditions. I mean, at the moment, they really need it there. Let's see, see it. A draw is not good enough for them, so they have to go after it. It's so doing, they have to take the risk. Thinking of them condition, I said, you need some wicked rocky ball. And taking off a defender is taking that risk on the hour mark. He's taking the risk, but losing or drawing is not much different for them please. because either way they're out. But are they helping his goalkeeper, David Martin, with his gloves? In some areas on the park where more, more water gathering makes it difficult to pass through those areas in the field daily. Yeah, the ball will stop suddenly. There's going to be little momentum. I suggest that they'll avoid the middle of the park as much as they possibly can. For the fluency, they'd be best advised to do so. Blair with the throw. That's on the back looking cross, and White had to punch it up, but he didn't go far. Gardner with the header. Well, it was more like a clearance. He wasn't even on target. That wasn't bad. Neng heads it away. Atkinson picks it up. Oh. Just confirm that Michael Allen has come on for Tyrese Williams. Really goes on, we see more puddles appearing on this field to believe how much longer it can hold up. Coming on right now, they can't play the passing game, or can they? Even with that, with Camperdown, we've seen the last five or so minutes each time they've cleared the ball of field. What we see is two Kingston College defenders by themselves, they're gonna have to. Be patient and, and stay. It's the risk you have to take to allow the other eight players to deal with it and keep your two strikers up front. Long throw by KC. Tibble Edwards. Free kick to camper down. Is he faithful, not liking the call? By that, sh that, that shout has not, the rain has not dampened them at all. Another free kick to camper down. Is there another twist in the tail? Or will this game just meander along because of the effects of the weather? They have sent bodies forward though, Camperdown. They attempt to go ahead. This one sent in. 
And uh, no problems there for David Martin. Just too close to the goalkeeper that delivery there. He did it get closer to the penalty spot. Ball over the top. Casey still with it. Takes a shot. And White makes a save. It's going to be a corner kick. White feeling there that he did manage to keep it in. His defense is... <laughs> If the assistant can see from where he was. Yes, yes, because he was all over the ball, smothering it. And the assistant would have been behind him. There's a corner kick. Morrison was trying to get in. There are a couple of players down for Camper Down. It's a brave attempt there from Morrison. Sticking his head into that mixed zone there. Lane is down as well as Bernardo Edwards, suffering from a bit of cramp. He this type of condition will have a bearing on the legs in terms of... You can see the Morrison just sticking his head inside there, brave. I think he was the cause of that injury. Then Lane actually ran into his own player. Yes, it's it appear. Do we see the field playing its part? And there again. And again. They would want to avoid that area. Robinson sends it along the flank. Yeah, nice burst of speed. Trying to find Allen. McCarthy. Late challenge coming in from Grant. I think he's attesting there that he didn't nobody, catch nobody him. Like it, and with that challenge, if that causes the player to lose the ball, even though you might not have touched him, it's unclear. Definite foul. Atkinson is across there, so too is Zamari Morrison again. Atkinson into the wall. Free kick. And possibly yellow card. Sean. Is it Gardner who received it? It is Calvin Gardner. Desperate defending. Yeah. Nice move by Allen. Uh, Gets a corner kick for his team. That occasion you felt the defender could have shown him a little bit inside there because Allen trying to avoid that air with the heavy water. And this doing the rain dance, do they want to keep want to keep it coming? Nothing dampens their spirit. The corner kick is taken. Morrison with the header. They are still trying to clear. They managed to do so. Casey will come again though. Blair. And the flag goes up for offside. They take the kick quickly. D 
Deacon was being held there, free kick to Camper Down. You see there the ball stopping in the water again. They're gonna have to change their technique once it goes to the middle of the park. It's the chip. The chip pass is going to be more effective down the center. Atkinson can't keep it in play. We have not managed to see a serious attack from Camperdown in this second half. And they really need to get up the other end because they are the ones who need to score here. Washington. Yeah, that was never gonna reach him. Hotham on Gordon is on the part by the way as Shaquille Bradford plays it to Gordon. Gordon plays it inside the chance for Kemper down. And is that your first attempt on target in the second half? We definitely need more of that. So Altaman Gordon coming on with little fanfare. He actually turns 19 today, the number eight for Camperdown. There it is. He will definitely want to get a quick result today because he's in his last season. But because it is 1 1. Still on a knife's edge. The second goal by Kingston College may just kill this though. You feel? Yeah, true. Them conditions they are risky and unpredictable. This long ball of field suiting Kingston College. So well, taunted by the weather here, not being able to build their attack up as they would customarily do. Passes along the turf. Keeper should have that one. Sean White gets a better of Ronaldo Robinson again. He was looking to get about 20 yards on that free kick. Deacon with the throw. They're inching further and further up, Camperdown, which is what they want. They haven't ventured in the attacking third a lot in the second half. I think uh, a lot has had to do with the has to do with the weather condition here, Not really favoring Camperdown. Kingston College will clear anywhere. That'll do.
We've seen a lot of that in the second half. A lot of ball punted up feed by Campanone. Nothing much coming off it. You're pretty much in hope and expectation, right? It would appear so, but really not looking good for them at the moment. But it will just take one moment of quality from them because of the scoreline being 1 1. Daly sends it long. Was looking for Gordon. Bradford almost got it. Daly with it now. Now it's with Altamont Gordon. Back to Daly. Now it'll go the other way. Ball over the top. The keeper is off his line. Maybe he's in trouble there, but he comes up with the save. Allen again oh. across the face of goal. There's nobody else up there for Kingston College. It's going to be a corner kick as Wayne Atkinson applied the pressure. Still have to give White some credit there. Managed to get there. Made it difficult. This one drilled across the face of goal to Morrison. 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 And Allen. That could be that for the champions who may just be heading back to the semis of the Manning Cup. He comes up with these big goals every time, Michael Allen. In the final last year, in the quarterfinals this. And Casey now with a crucial, crucial lead. You can't. Campino was really living on the edge there because that header without the puck. And just made sure of it. And that risk which Campino took in terms of going through at the back, they were short there on defenders. And you felt with the attack earlier by Campino, the fact that they started going backwards was always going to be their downfall. And once the turnover occurred, they were always chasing it. You can see Donald that the next goal in is, is going to be crucial going to Kinston College. Based it's on the evidence of what you see, you've seen in the second half, it could be game over camp for Campadon. For just to be vibrant and boisterous in this pouring rain. Michael Allen getting just the second goal this season. Right place, right time. What is scoring at the moment? They get two goals in at least 12 minutes, Camper Down. Some what we've seen in the second half. A crucial moment in that first half when they gave up that goal to Atkinson and time on it on. You cannot, cannot, that was poor defending. You cannot leave a player like him that so much space. And that's what's going to even make it more difficult for Camford on those puddles of water on the field, which makes it difficult for them to transition well from the middle of the park. Exactly. And it is Kingston College that we've seen use the plants much better in the second half, which is where you don't have much puddle, okay. if any at all. So we are talking okay, so about the They played intelligently. They tried to come forward once more. I see you're right, Donald. They have played intelligently once they have seen that middle of the park was having so many puddles they decided to most of their attacking so coming from the flanks. Morrison 
Gets the return ball. Not quite Leng is there. Now they're in song. They're in unison. They were dancing and um, it's a good dance day. They certainly God's have answered their prayers. Morrison at the near post. The flick almost working. That's lost out. It seem as if we're heading with 10 minutes to go for the same results. In the last season where it was Kinsale College who went through, it's the same end result at the moment. Edwards. Washington with the throw. Morrison. Again, the ball over the top. Oh. And that extra defender for Camford on the puddles. Bailed them out there, Snow. Ronaldo Robinson is there. Deacon. Bradford collects, Daly, Bradford, Daly, trying to find Bradford again. Morrison. Throwing to Camper down. Time ticking away. Len sends it long. Bradford will try to get there ahead of Blair. But Blair is well positioned. And Bradford were always second best to that one. Started behind Blair and Blair. He was not a slouch by himself. It's quick over the ground. Edwards into the chest of Scott McLeod. Puts on a brave face. Scheme of things, he wouldn't mind that. He's, he's going to fight till the end. Daly, Bradford, Bradford to the byline, cuts it across. He gets the corner. It's a crucial intervention there because there were about four Capitone players waiting on the top of the six-yard box there, just about to send the penalty spot area for a cutback. There was no KC defenders in close proximity there, you felt, had it come through there, and they would have had a chance to at least level it. The big boys are up for the corner kick. Here's the lever from Daly. Headed away. Len goes chasing after it. Deacon is there for company. Gordon. Committing the foul. Losing his shin for the 13th time. His shin, but I, say, I should say not his shin. <laughs> <laughs> not be able to continue if he had lost that. <laughs> but they're definitely not looking like losers today, Kingston College. Looking like they're going to march on into the semi finals.
Turkey taken quickly. Robinson was fouled there. Yellow card will come out to Daly. And there's more to frustration. Kinson College has played like the team, really chasing it. And it is Campadon who really needs and has been chasing this one from the opening whistle. In terms of the other ones who definitely need that. Yeah, I guess having seen the initial of the earlier free kick going against them, just been overzealous on that tackle, tackle game. Yep, yeah, so he goes into the, referee, the referee's book, Sean Daly. Free kick to Kingston College. The wall set up. It's high and wide. Who is that? Wasteful attempt. This and another B, when a lot more depends on it, you would see more effort being put into it. From Kingston College, feeling comfortable at the moment. Here's the defense of their title. Still intact. Still intact. They do say they normally win in pairs when they do win. I mean, back to back. Mm -hmm. When they do win the Manning Cup, so. This will be their year again, right? Based on a sequence of past events. Lewis Watson. Oh, well, he's going goalwards. Well, the kid has power. That's for sure. He lacks direction. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> is it safe to look ahead to the semifinals now? Because they, Kings and College, the champions, they have a difficult proposition ahead of them. If they go through. Oh, well, that's a good ball inside to Allen. Cleared out. Paul just got away from him that first touch. He came to him a little bit too quickly. Well, this one is whipped inside and no problems for Deshaun White. I'm talking about the proposition that would mean. Well, as if we needed more drama. The Wilmers transmit game was called off at the halftime interval, with Wilmers leading by three goals to nil. Well, well, well. Gordon. And here we were complaining about too much rain. <laughs> and we still have a football game. Alan. Morrison. Another frustrating year for Camperdown. Deacon on it. He just can't play. I think that sums up the night for Camperdown. Players just not being able to sort it out as to who should take it. Daily. They're just playing a different match in there. Ruff for trying to sneak it off but couldn't. Gordon. Play switched. Edwards. 
Edwards sends this one inside the box. Free kick to Kemper down. It's going to be interesting to see how many stoppages will be played. You get the feeling. Five. And with that, then you feel like they have to make something of this free kick, Campanel. I'm not sure they could have received any more, could they? And you're right, something has to be done with this free kick. Leng is up there, Dale is up there. There's a bit of an argument as to who should take it and probably what type of free kick it should be. Leng, the captain, has made his way inside the box. But will Daly go for goal? He chips it inside the box. It's a poor chip. Comes back to Daly again. Ooh, delivers wide of the mark. That was initial foot chip inside there. was very poor. Tried to make up with the second attempt he got. Just didn't get it curling back in. You can see the shape on it. It's fallen through it meant that he was looking to curl it into that far corner. Referee Hamilton saying that she's going to add by the time. And so, she's telling the goalkeeper he can cut it out. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a minimum of. Uh, definitely was some time wasting because he's back up. Okay. Nothing happened. We saw nothing there. Let's see the time will go back on. Who's your player again? Uh -oh. Initially when it started we felt that White was in the running but the fact that he, his team will be knocked out and he's on the losing end tonight. Especially in the first half, Dwayne Atkinson plays really well. That's going to go now, as well. Say, despite he hasn't scored, he has really he been scored. Scored the first goal. busy all game, and he really started the brightest for Kingston College. Who? Atkinson. No, he has scored actually. <laughs> he scored the first oh goal. yes, yes, yes. He got the first goal. He did. It seems like a long, time ago. a long time ago. And definitely, it's without doubt, good. he's he's he would be the pick for the man of the match. Has got through that goal, which was many moons ago, so so that I almost forgot he did. Morrison has also had a good game. Morrison couldn't beat his marker. Gordon. You won from your big players. Since that one inside, there was nobody there. And, uh, there's another list on the play. He's the big name player for Kingston College, and in a moment like today, you want them to step up. And Donald. Uh, he did. He did. He did in Atkinson. Of course. Roger Gavin has, all, has also done well for Kingston College at the back, and of course he assisted with the goal scored by Atkinson. Oh, that's nice movement from Campanon, but it didn't come off on that occasion. Deacon. Challenge coming in from Ronaldo Robertson, who is putting a shift and a half today. He certainly has, but give Camford on credit too because they fight into this last minute or seconds in this game. Jamar Morrison's day is up. Khalifa Richards 
is coming on to replace him. He is at a good game too, Morrison. Just to show up things at the back. As if they need it at this stage. I guess. <laughs> to make sure. Defending stubbornly in the final seconds. For the champions, we believe they've done enough. Bradford. Gordon. Cleared out again. And that is that. Championship medal. They had to come from behind Kingston College to get by Camper Down. There is up now, the game can put down hope. But Allen's winner proved it to be enough in the end. And his strike making the difference. Kingston College, they needed a draw, they came out with the win. And Camperdown will have to think about how close they were this year. Yet another group of talented players will have to watch the Manica final from the sidelines. They didn't make it to the top four though. Kingston College, they advance to the semis of the Manning Cup. Well, there's a little saying that the Brave may fall, but never you. They fell behind Kingston College, but they found a way back. And in the end, they won this one by two goals to nil. Two goals to one. Atkinson and Allen on the score sheet for Kingston College. Let's take a look at the goals. Camperdown went ahead in the 30th minute. And that was a really good finish from Sean Daly. And uh, that was his uh, seventh this season. Good ball inside from Bradford and it's split to defence and made no mistake Daly. And then on the stroke of half time, Gavin with the assist, beautiful header, and that was a good finish from Dwayne Atkinson scoring his 18th goal this season. If you can give Gavin credit, a good header back in the mid zone, and as a set piece come from the training ground, we've seen Kinson College do that all evening, in into the back post, and you cannot give a player like Atkinson so much time and space, and you see what he does with that. And then the critical one. Put away by Michael Allen. The assist will go to Jamar Morrison. And that made it Kingston College 2. Camper down 1. Pretty eventful first half especially. It kind of petered out in the end because of the weather conditions. 19 shots in total for Kingston College, 7 on target. Camperdown with 6 shots in total, just a 3 on target. A very physical game with 15 uh, fouls attributed to Kingston College and 11 to Camperdown High. Four yellow cards were shown. Seven corner kicks to KC, two to Camperdown, and the Kingston College with 53% of the possession in this game. critical player in this game for Kingston College is the MVP Dwayne Atkinson. I've Thank lost you. count of how many of these trophies I've handed out to you so far this season. How many are they? Four. How do you feel about your performance today? Well, it was a great performance. You know that it was a tough game and Arsenal did achieve five that job because when the game with the job means um, put to down so keep focus and just tell yourself say, come on, get in and come out and watch coach tell you and get the win. Thank you, Dwayne. You're very welcome. Dwayne Atkinson there of Kingston College, our MVP today. Joining me now is Donovan Lofters of Camperdown High School. <laughs> Donovan, what's going on? You're very expressive. Yeah, man, I, I'm just I'm just disappointed. Yeah, um, the fans are here to see a game, and and I think the referee took it away. Especially the first goal, I'd like to see a replay because that, that to me looked like a, a clear offside. The second one is also questionable, but what can I say? 
But also, Donovan, I have I didn't see the urgency from uh, Camperdown, especially in the second half, in a game that is meant to be do or die. We didn't see that much. Yeah, um, um, I said I tell you again, the first goal, the guys were questioning it, and 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 the, the obviousness of it. That, that it wasn't called, you know, and, and, and they were a little bit down. But we, we came out and we tried, and the, the weather, again, wasn't wasn't conducive to good proper football, eh? Well, Donovan, unfortunate result for Camperdown here today. Thank you. Yeah, man, that's okay. Um, let, let, let me say that. Donovan Loftus there of uh, Camperdown High School. He's not very happy, and for obvious reasons, his team has... Uh, Fallen out of the competition. Joining me now is Ludlow Bernard, head coach of Kingston College. Congratulations. Through to the semifinals on your way to defend your title. Consecutive. Four consecutive semifinals for Kingston College. Talk to us about today. Um, it was one of those moments. I remember last year when we were in the position that Campalon was in seeking a victory and we got the real purpose spirit coming out. We didn't approach again in a defensive manner today. We, keep, we, we knew that Campadon has a very good attacking team. They always seem to score in games, but we knew that we would also score and get chances. Um, although we went behind, I think we were very, very confident. Even when we got the penalty and we, we, we missed it, I, I was always confident because the chances were being created, we were opening up your defence, so it was just a matter of time. And um, we better to get the, the first goal of the game, you know? And I think um, credit to him because he got one just before that, you know, he thought that he was outside and he, he didn't finish and then he got back another opportunity. He said we keep, we keep creating chances and that's a good thing about my team and probably for the first time today my defence line was broken, <laughs> quite unfortunately. But the resilience is there and um, Michael Allen who scored the second goal in the finals last year, he came up trumps again and provided us with the winner this time around. Thank you, Coach. We did see the Purple Pride here today. All the best. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Ludlow Bernard there, head coach of Kingston College. Of course, this was Decision Day in the Digital Manning Cup quarterfinals. Let's take a look at the tables. So Kingston College, they have qualified to the uh, semifinals of the Dacosta Cup. Wilmos boys, they are on seven points as it stands. They currently lead our Charlie Smith 3-0, but that game was called off after the first half due to the poor weather conditions here in Kingston. But as it stands, if things remain the same, Kingston College and Wilmos boys would be through to the semifinals of the Manning.